The year that I went to Mork and Mindy, Brian Levant was one of the producers. And Brian Levant is just a really great guy. He came up also in the Gary Marshall Company. And he kind of took me under his wing on Mork and Mindy. And uh, that's where I got my first script that I got to write all by myself. It was about them having uh, some arguments in their relationship, because by then they were married. I, the, the year that I went to Mork and Mindy, Mork and Mindy got married. They had a baby who was Jonathan Winters. And at the end of the season, we blew up the set. And it was also shot in 3D. And it was supposed to go on to another season of Mork and Mindy in space or something, but it ended up not happening. <laughs> in my episode, I remember they did a dance number to um, You Can't Take That Away From Me. And that was really great. And uh, it, it, was a, it, it had a series of very funny vignettes. And at the end, I remember uh, or Mork had to give his report. And, uh, and so Ork says, you earned your stripes. And I had written, when, when, when they say you earn your stripes, a zebra appears in Mork's arms, right? So I didn't think they were going to put a zebra. And they got a zebra. And there was Robin Williams holding this little baby zebra. And I remember the feeling of power that I had as a writer that I could write something and that it would really, they would make it happen. That That's was very that, heady. That's so cool. <laughs> so talk about writing for Robin Williams and Jonathan Winters. Did they stick to your script? Robin Williams never, never did. I mean, he is just the master of improvisation, and he just riffs and riffs. And, and he was, you know, he did that. Jonathan, Jonathan, they really wanted to say his lines. <laughs> And he really didn't want to. And I remember that became a big problem. They wanted him to because they were afraid of what he was going to say on his own? Yes, and also because what he said on his own didn't really make a lot of sense, uh, especially in terms of, you know, what we were shooting. So it was a battle. It started off as a big love affair, and then it ended up as kind of a battle. And when Robin would go off, were you on the set just rewriting for the other characters, or were they just keeping up with him on their own? They were just keeping up on their own, and that's what's so great about that cast is that, you know, he'd just go off on his thing, and then he'd come back, and they just find their way back. And some of it they used, some of it they didn't. Everything was very wholesome in those days, and that was a very wholesome show, so there wasn't really... I don't remember a lot of censorship or, or having any boundaries. I mean, everything, we would get together, we would pitch, you know, and, and of course the producers would pick, you know, the stories that they wanted to do and everything, but I don't remember any, any limitations to tell you the truth.